When the fire alarm sounds, you must leave the building immediately. Walk calmly to your nearest exit. Do not stop to collect personal belongings. Do not wait for others. Go straight to your designated assembly point. Wait for help to arrive. Fires take hold in a matter of minutes. It's vital that you act calmly and quickly and stay safe at university. In your accommodation, you're not only responsible for your own safety, but for the safety of those that you live with. Here are a few simple steps that you can take to avoid a fire storm in the first place. Here we are in a typical halls of residence. I'm going to take you through some of the key fire safety points. We often hear about bread being jammed in the toaster. When this happens, the smoke will not activate the heat detector in the kitchen. However, if the door to the corridor is opened, the smoke detector will react. We will get a false alarm and the fire and rescue service will be called. As we look at the cooker, we can see several sources of ignition on or near the cooking surface the tea towel, the cereal box. These items should never be left on or near the cooking service. They should be taken away and removed and put in a cupboard or a safer environment away from the heat. One of the most common issues we get is a buildup of grease and fat in the grill pan. When cooking, this can heat up. If it's not cleaned regularly, this can ignite and burst into flames. When you are cooking, ensure that you always open and use the extractor fan. Never leave your cooking unattended. Never ever cook under the influence of alcohol. And when you have finished, ensure that you close everything and switch all your appliances off. Another item to be aware of in the kitchen is the microwave. You should never place metal, foil or foil containers in the microwave. The metal can cause electrical arcing, which can cause a fire. In the bedroom, the main danger comes from leaving small electrical appliances, such as hair straighteners, plugged in. These can easily start a fire. However, less obvious than that are laptops and their chargers. These can get very hot and they should never be left on papers, magazines or soft furnishings. They should always be left on a suitable hard surface and be well ventilated. One of the most serious issues we come across is where we find a smoke detector that's been covered by a plastic bag or a piece of clothing. This vital piece of fire safety equipment is designed to give early warning in case of fire to alert the occupants and other residents within the building. You should never cover smoke detectors ever. The buildup of rubbish is also a great concern. Not only is it a source of fuel for the fire, but residents often leave it in unacceptable places, such as in front of a door a fire escape or a stairwell. In effect, this also causes a trip hazard. Residents should regularly remove the refuse and the rubbish from their occupancy. A good tip would be every time you leave your residence to take your rubbish with you. Fire door keeps shut. This is a common sign we see on many doors in student accommodation. It's vital that you follow these instructions. These doors are there for your safety. They should always be kept closed and should never be wedged open. Here we have a fire extinguisher point. These vital pieces of equipment are provided for safety. They should never be tampered with or misused. It is an offence at the university to misuse any firefighting equipment. Break glass call points are provided for use in an emergency to raise the alarm and call the fire and rescue service. They should never be tampered with. It is an offence to misuse this equipment. Calling the fire service when it is not an emergency can put other people's lives at risk. All university premises have a strict no smoking policy in all areas. This includes accommodation areas. This issue was taken so seriously that smoking will not be tolerated in any university building. Electrical safety is very important as electrical fires can start only too easily. Some key safety points with electrical appliances are it is better and safer to use a strip adapter than a block adapter. Never plug more than one adapter into one socket. Never plug an adapter into an adapter. It's also very important to remove the cardboard packaging on any plug before using it. Never use storage heat as to dry clothes or hang or leave plastic bags on or near them.
Candles and incense are prohibited in halls of residence due to the hazard they present, as they are often left unattended, and this can result in a fire, particularly if they are left on a combustible soft surface. Never leave aerosols on or near a hot surface, such as a cooker, heater, or windowsill. Most calls to student accommodation are false alarms. Student accommodation, Richardson Road in the city centre. Firefighters attending false alarms could be delayed in saving lives at a real fire. Most false alarms are preventable. Fumes from cooking often set the fire alarm off. Always ensure you only cook in the kitchen. Keep the door closed and always use the extractor fan. You should be aware that smoke detectors are very sensitive. You should never use aerosol sprays directly under them. Also, the steam from a shower or an iron can also activate a smoke detector. Okay, that's the end of our tour of a typical student accommodation block where we've touched on the most common fire safety hazards you would encounter, how to prevent a fire and how to prevent false alarms. All we ask now is you stay safe and keep everybody happy. So remember, never leave cooking unattended. Never wedge fire doors open, they must be kept shut. Never tamper with a smoke detector or firefighting equipment. Escape routes should be kept clear at all times. Ensure you know your evacuation route and assembly points. Never leave aerosols near heat sources. Do not smoke in any university buildings. And finally, in the event of a fire or a fire alarm, get out and stay out.